Okay, another inventory question, the focus here being on the specific identification method. So you are provided with information relating to Hot Wheels, PTY LTD, for the three months ending 30th September 2017. The business trades in motorbikes and helmets. And these questions are specifically relating just to the motorbikes. The next video will relate to the helmets. So Mike, the owner, wants to assess his stock records before any price increases during the year. So calculate the value of the closing stock using the specific identification method. So let's look very carefully at this question. So we've got quite a few models here. It's you. You guys are the models watching this video because you're so good looking. So with AO2, we have 12 units as our opening stock. We've got six for the purchases minus eight for the units sold. And we're going to multiply that by the unit cost price. That is 24,300. So these are all the figures that we just looked at times 24,300. If you plug all this into your calculator, 12 plus six is equal to 18 minus eight is 10. So 10 times 24,300 is equal to 243,000. You don't need a calculator, you are the calculator. If we look at AO3, AO3 is gonna be 15 minus 11. Our unit price is 27,500. So 15 minus 11 is equal to four times 27,400 is equal to our total of 109,600. And AO4 is gonna be our 18 minus 10 times 31,600, which was our unit price, which gives us a grand total of 252,800. Guys, remember, we use the specific identification method, particularly when dealing with luxury goods, or things that are just very expensive, like dealing with luxury cars, or in this case, motorbikes, or you know, fancy laptops like Alienware. So we can specifically identify goods. With FIFO, it's more like perishable type goods. So first in, first out, things that have an expiry date. With something like weighted average, let's say we're selling different kinds of soccer balls, like a Chelsea soccer ball or a United soccer ball. Look, if you support United, please click away from this video. Unsubscribe to the channel, dislike the video. You and I are enemies. Now I'm joking, I'm joking. Please don't, don't, I love you. I love you a lot. Please don't do that. It was a joke. Forgive me. I'm a, I'm a Chelsea fan, though. What can I say? Viva le bleu. Let's go with the blues. They usually say that for the French. Hashtag killing Mbappe. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's keep going. So this is the calculation. Add all that good stuff up and we get 605,400. I love the use of color. Isn't this just like more attractive to read now so you guys know exactly what we're dealing with? Everything is kind of color coded here, except that 24,300, but we've already done it. Just, let's just make a red there for completeness purposes. You know what I'm saying? 5.2.2, Mike requires your advice on the three different models of motorbikes in which he is trading. Explain two points of advice. So if we take a good look at everything, especially AO2, maybe we should reduce the price of AO2 because the sales amount is a bit lower and we're holding a little bit too much stock on hand. We're holding 10 units at the end of the year. So maybe we reduce the price of AO2 to increase sales, or instead of that, maybe we could just discontinue AO2 altogether, stop selling it and look at stocking alternative products. Maybe we could stock a little bit more of AO3. This seems to be doing pretty well um, as they seem to be more popular and uh, they're a bit more affordable or maybe stock more of AO4 because our gross profit per unit is higher. It's the biggest on this item. So anything along those lines would have scored you guys the mark. So you scrutinize AO2, AO3, and AO4, and you just list what it is. So AO2, very bad. We don't like this. AO3 is good. AO4 is good as well. So it's either we restock it, drop the price with AO3, AO4. We want more of these products, especially AO4 because we have the highest gross profit here.